All right, this looks to me like the easiest problem on the face of this earth. Call me a son of a bitch, but I think this is this is just too simple for words. So let's let's delve right in. On the face of it, it looks hard, but maybe it's not. So basically, a 0.2 kilogram puck. This guy right here uh, on a, on the frictionless horizontal table frictionless horizontal table in the figure is connected by a string through a hole how dumb is that uh, in the table to a hanging 1.2 kilogram block all right this is 1.2 and this is acted upon by the force of gravity with what speed must the puck rotate in a circle of radius 0.45 meters if the block is to remain hanging at rest so man I, this is really really simple so basically this has to provide enough speed right or centripetal um, acceleration let's say centripetal acceleration is going in a circle for this to be to maintain its state of rest so that gravity does not pull it down so basically what we have to do is set the um, the force the mass of this puck times the centripetal acceleration equal to the force of gravity acting on this block. That's all we gotta do. So let's do it. Um, I didn't even prepare for this problem. It's so simple. So um, a force of the on, act on the of the puck, all right, is let's see, force puck should be equal to the force of gravity on the block, all right, which is nothing but the weight of the um, of the block so let's uh, so force is the mass of the puck mass puck times the um, the excel centripetal acceleration so that's that's v square over r and we're asked to find out v over here and we can set that equal to the weight of the um, of the block so that's mass of the block block times its acceleration due gravity which is constant 9.8 so mass of the puck is 0.2 kilograms uh, v square over um, the radius is given to us as 0.45 equals to the mass of the block which is 1.2 times 9.8 so you just rearrange these values right so we'll just do v square equals 1.2 times 9.8 times 0.45 divided by 0.20 and just to save my my writing we'll just we'll just take the square root of both sides to get v all right so let's just do that let's just find out what the with what 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 speed so it's asking you the speed nothing angular it's asking you what is the linear speed so speed is equal to 2 0.2 times 9.8 times 0 0.45 divide by uh, 0 0.2 is that right? Let's just do that again. 1.2 times 9.8 times 0 0.45 divided by 0 0.2. And you take the square root of that and you end up with a V of 5.14. And that is meters per second. That's our V. I think I have to double check, but I think that that's it.